Did you know that candy corn production used to be a hands-on, labor-intensive process? Workers would carefully pour ingredients into molds, layer by layer, to create each piece. Today, a single machine called the Mogul can produce thousands of candy corn pieces in minutes. Let's explore how this sweet treat's production has evolved over the last 130 years. You might think candy corn is just sugar, but there's more to this treat than meets the eye. The evolution of candy corn mirrors the advancement of food technology, and its unique flavor comes from a precise blend of ingredients. Let's unwrap the sweet science behind this Halloween staple. At the heart of candy corn's recipe are four key sweeteners, sugar, corn syrup, dextrose, and honey. This combination isn't just about sweetness, it's carefully crafted to create the candy's signature texture and taste. The sugar and corn syrup work together to form what's known as a mellow cream, giving candy corn its distinctive marshmallow-like flavor that's become a hallmark of the treat. But the sweeteners are just the beginning. Candy corn's recipe includes a few surprising elements that might raise an eyebrow or two. For instance, did you know that candy corn is technically fat-free? That's right, there's no oil or fat in the mix. However, before our vegan friends get too excited, there's a catch. Candy corn contains gelatin, which is derived from animal collagen. This ingredient plays a crucial role in giving the candy its unique texture, but it also means that candy corn isn't suitable for those following a vegan diet. Now, let's talk about that shiny outer shell that makes candy corn so visually appealing. It's not just for show, it's a key part of the candy corn experience. This glossy finish comes from a confectioner's glaze, which might sound innocuous enough, but here's where things get interesting. This glaze is made from lac resin, a secretion from certain insects. It's a natural ingredient that's been used in food production for centuries, but it's certainly not something most people expect to find in their Halloween candy. The vibrant colors of candy corn are another essential aspect of its appeal. Traditionally, these hues came from artificial colors, carefully chosen to represent the fall harvest with white, orange, and yellow. However, as consumer preferences have shifted towards more natural ingredients, some manufacturers have adapted their recipes. Now you might find candy corn colored with natural ingredients like turmeric, which provides that iconic yellow hue. Over time, candy corn manufacturers have faced a unique challenge. How to maintain the nostalgic flavor that people love while adapting to modern dietary preferences and ingredient standards. It's a delicate balance, requiring careful adjustments to the recipe without losing the essence of what makes candy corn, well, candy corn. This ongoing evolution is a testament to the enduring popularity of this seemingly simple treat. Candy corn's unique recipe may be a century old, but its production process is anything but ancient. What if you learned that a single machine could churn out millions of these tri-colored treats in a day? This technological marvel doesn't just speed up production, it completely revolutionized the candy corn industry. Enter the Mogul Machine, a game-changing invention that transformed candy corn from a handcrafted novelty to a mass-produced Halloween staple. This automated marvel took over the painstaking task of cornstarch molding, a process that was previously done entirely by hand. The Mogul machine works its magic by first creating a slurry of sugar, corn syrup, and other ingredients. This mixture is then deposited into cornstarch molds with incredible precision. Here's where it gets really impressive. The machine fills trays of cornstarch with liquid candy, layering each color in sequence, white, orange, and yellow. Each layer is allowed to cool and harden before the next is added, maintaining the iconic tri-color design we all know and love. But the mogul's job isn't done yet. After the candy is cooled and hardened, it's emptied from the molds. Any excess cornstarch is removed through a sifting process. And finally, the candy is polished with a glaze to give it that characteristic shine. The efficiency of the mogul machine is truly staggering. To put it into perspective, one company estimates it produces approximately 4.3 billion pieces of candy corn annually. That's billions with a B. Compare this to the original hand-pouring method, where workers would laboriously create each piece individually, and you could see why the mogul was such a game-changer. Quality control remains a crucial part of the process, even with this high-speed production. Rigorous checks on color, density, and moisture content ensure that each batch of candy corn meets the required specifications. This attention to detail is what allows manufacturers to maintain the consistency and quality that candy corn lovers expect even when producing on such a massive scale. 
The entire production process from start to finish can take at least 24 hours. This might seem long, but it's necessary to allow the candy to set properly before packaging. It's a testament to the care that goes into creating each tiny piece of candy corn, even in this automated age. The impact of the mogul machine on candy corn production can't be overstated. It's allowed for truly massive production, with the U.S. churning out about 35 million pounds of candy corn each year. That's a lot of Halloween baskets filled. This technological advancement hasn't just increased quantity, it's also helped maintain consistency. Every piece of candy corn you eat today is the result of this carefully calibrated process, ensuring that whether you're enjoying it in California or Maine, your candy corn experience is the same. This consistent candy corn experience isn't limited to just Halloween anymore. Did you know that candy corn has evolved into a year-round treat with variations for nearly every holiday? The tiny tricolor kernels have broken free from their October roots, adapting to stay relevant in surprising ways. Candy corn's journey from a seasonal specialty to a year-round staple is a testament to its enduring appeal. After World War II, as trick-or-treating gained popularity, candy corn became closely associated with Halloween. This connection solidified its place in American culture, but it was just the beginning of candy corn's evolution. Today, candy corn has expanded its reach far beyond the autumn season. Manufacturers have created variations for different holidays, ensuring that these sweet kernels are available throughout the year. You'll find reindeer corn during Christmas, featuring festive red and green colors. Valentine's Day brings Cupid corn in shades of pink and red, while Independence Day is celebrated with red, white, and blue freedom corn. These seasonal adaptations have allowed candy corn to maintain its relevance and appeal to consumers year-round. The cultural significance of candy corn has grown to such an extent that October 30th is now designated as National Candy Corn Day. This official recognition highlights the treat's impact on American confectionery traditions and its role in holiday celebrations. Despite its widespread availability and cultural recognition, candy corn remains one of the most polarizing candies. Some people love its unique texture and flavor, while others dismiss it as empty calories. This division of opinion has only added to candy corn's mystique and cultural relevance. The controversy surrounding candy corn often sparks debates and discussions, keeping it in the public consciousness even outside of the Halloween season. Interestingly, candy corn's association with autumn remains strong, even as it branches out into other seasons. As one source notes, candy corn is undeniably a harbinger of fall. This connection to seasonal changes and traditions contributes to its enduring popularity and nostalgic value. Many people associate candy corn with family traditions and childhood memories, regardless of their personal opinion on its taste. The nostalgic appeal of candy corn plays a significant role in its continued success. For many, the sight of those familiar orange, yellow, and white kernels evokes memories of Halloween parties, trick-or-treating, and autumn festivities. This emotional connection helps explain why candy corn remains a popular choice, even among those who may not count it as their favorite candy. Despite the mixed opinions and its expansion into other seasons, candy corn's popularity during the Halloween season remains strong. In 2019, a staggering 95% of holiday shoppers reportedly purchased candy corn during the Halloween season. This statistic demonstrates the treat's enduring appeal and its ability to maintain its status as a Halloween staple even as it diversifies into other holidays. Candy corn's journey from a handcrafted treat to a mass-produced icon reflects the broader evolution of American food manufacturing. Since 1900, the Golditz Candy Company, now Jelly Belly, has been producing candy corn using similar recipes, adapting to changing technologies while maintaining tradition. The transition from manual labor to automated processes mirrors the industrial revolution in food production. Today's candy corn factories can produce millions of pieces daily, a far cry from the original hand-pouring methods. This efficiency has solidified candy corn's place in American culture, particularly its association with Halloween, which grew stronger after World War II. Whether loved or hated, candy corn evokes strong memories for many. As Lauren O'Toole of the National Confectioners Association notes, it's this really interesting cultural piece of candy that, whether people love it or they hate it, they have such a strong memory attached to it. This intersection of nostalgia, technology, and tradition continues to shape our relationship with this iconic treat.